Welcome everyone to Oxygen Not Included. My name is Rainer and today we will continue building the perfect base. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps to get this video to other people. And if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe as well. In the last video, we did a couple of things. Uh, we tamed this polluted water vent in a permanent fashion. So uh, we set it up in a way that all the water is always, it's, it's never over pressuring. So we always make sure that this uh, polluted water vent can produce more water because this is an infinite water generator unless it's overpressured. This thing can hold an infinite amount of polluted water. Um, what we also did is we dug up down all the way down here to oil. Uh, and this is going to be important um, at some point. Uh, what we did it for now was not the oil, but we dug up these uh, lead pieces. And yeah, this is really powerful because yeah, we need a lot of refined met metals for uh, building stuff. And um, crafting it all by hand is just a lot of work. It costs a lot of duplicate time. So I prefer to just get the lead here and use that for basic small things like cables and uh, other stuff. Um, we do have to take into account that this stuff is hot. So if we build stuff with it, our base will heat up. Uh, but uh, we, I think we can keep that under control. Um, what we also did is move the power generation. We had a coal generator here. We moved it here because this was also generating a little bit of heat. Uh, the more uh, power we're using, the more the coal generator was on, uh, which also meant that it would generate more heat because when it's on, it will generate heat. So that's also what we did. Um, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to change these hatches. Uh, right now we have regular hatches here. Uh, if we look it up, there are a couple different hatches. So we have the regular hatch here, uh, which uh, has this ideal temperature and it eats these uh, things. So we have sand, sandstone, clay, crushed rock, dirt, sedimentary rock and a lot of foods that uh, we like to eat as well. Um, but there's also different hatches. We have the sage hatch, um, which eats polluted dirt, dirt, algae, slime, fertilizer. Not really things we want to get rid of, maybe the slime, but it's a little bit dirty to handle. So I don't really like to, to ranch these, uh, at least for the slime. Uh, then we have the stone hatch, which eats a lot of different stones and metals. Um, the most important one is igneous rock because igneous rock is something that you will find a lot on every asteroid. So here there will also be thousands of tons of igneous rock and igneous rock is something that you can replenish. This is one of the only types of rock that will be replenishable. So we definitely want these so we can feed them igneous rock. And then we also have the smooth hatch uh, and the smooth hatch basically can convert raw metals into refined metals, which is also pretty good. Um, but the smooth hatches are a little bit more tricky to get. So how do you get different hatches? Um, well, if you look here, you can see that we have different egg chances. Uh, this, these hatches, right now have a 96% to lay a regular hatchling egg. If you want to have a sage hatchling, uh, it says here the probability to make a sage hatch egg will increase when you feed the creature dirt. Now, this is not what we want to feed the creature, but because we don't want the sage hatching, we want the stone hatchlings. And for that, we need to feed them sedimentary rock. Um, sedimentary rock, we only have 7.7 .7 tons but that's fine, we're going to get more today. Um, so why do we want to change it? As I said, sandstone will at some point be all gone. It, it, it's not something you can replenish. So we need something else and we want to feed them igneous rock at some point. We already have more than sandstone of igneous rock and we will get a lot more at some point. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to change these storage bins to um, sedimentary rock. I will limit the amount in these bins 
to 5000 kilos. Also, for some reason, I have critter eggs in here. Um, not sure what that is. But yeah, we want to have sedimentary rock in these bins. I want to do that for this bin as well. And I want to limit this to 5000 kilograms because I don't want to have uh, everything in one bin and the other uh, hatchlings will starve. Um, here we do the same thing. We have the hatch. We don't want to give them sandstone, but sedimentary rock. And let's copy that over. Uh, now there's a lot of uh, sandstone on the floor. Uh, so that's also something we want to sweep up. Uh, let's do that as a seven. And this will make it so that our hatchlings will start to um, get bigger chances to drop stone hatch eggs. And that's exactly what we want. Um, what I also want to do, because we're going to uh, take this ranching up a notch, is I'm going to make some more incubators. And we're actually going to start building them here at the bottom. Uh, let's build them out of copper. Let's start with... Uh, we have enough for four. Let's make four of these. Uh, we're going to make another room here for these uh, things. Let's also... Build this. Uh, we're going to make it so that... The... Um, gases can escape on both sides so what i'm going to do here is a little bit different from the other rooms we're going to make double doors and i'm going to lock the top door because duplicants have a little bit of a weird trait where they climb the first door to get through the upper door which is really weird uh, and that's not what we want so yeah this this will be an enclosed room where we have our incubators uh, and these will be gone at some point um, so in order to uh, let's see what, what priority did I make this with a five okay fine so we need more sedimentary rock and sedimentary rock you can find um, here for example you have a lot of sedimentary rock in these slime biomes and I think you also have them in these biomes right igneous Maybe I'm looking wrong, but I think... No, that's the oil biome. I think in the... Um, anyway, they're also in the rust biome, I think. But I cannot see it right now. No. Nope. Anyway, so we're going to dig up uh, a lot of this stuff uh, in order to be able to um, drop the, these uh, things on the floor. I want to get rid of this water here uh, and this is polluted water we have a polluted water storage so that's perfect uh, we're going to build a liquid pump here uh, let's do that as a seven uh, doesn't have to be gold amalgam let's make it out of copper going to build it here and then we're going to make some pipes so that we can put this into here Let's bridge over. Uh, what I'm also going to do is um, this contraption here with our toilets. As, as you know, we have too much water here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to prioritize that we put new water in the system. Uh, we're going to remove this. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back here. I'm going to do it like this, then uh, X, remove that. And then we're also going to remove this stuff. Uh, we can remove, yeah, the bridge can also go. Am I removing the bridge we don't, of the liquid bridge, deconstruct. And then we're just going to connect this. Um, so the water will first flow in here. And then I want to make a way for the water to flow also to this uh, pipe here. Um, one thing I have to keep in mind is this is an entrance. So the water might be confused and go this way or does, don't know what to do. Uh, so we need to make another bridge here uh, to make sure that the water has a clear direction to flow into. Uh, like this. And then we go up 
to the left and up here. Uh, and I made this all a seven as well. Let's actually make this a six because this is a little bit less important. Okay, and this also six. So that is out of the way. Uh, so, and once this is all deconstructed, we can start destroying this stuff. Um, of course, we will drop a lot of slime on the floor and I want to prevent it from uh, off-gassing polluted oxygen because that will give a lot of germs. So we're going to set up a couple of uh, deodorizers down here. So we can immediately change this polluted uh, oxygen into clean oxygen. And that way prevents any uh, bad things from happening. Let's also make this a 6 by the way. I don't want this uh, to have priority. I want to make this first, so we put that in there. Oh, by the way, our pump also needs power, of course, so let's make power. Uh, let's make that from lead, because we have it. And we can uh, start with this here. Then, when we have this done, um, I want to start also, that's the second thing we're going to do, um, as we already know, there's a chlorine vent here and I want to dig it up and prep it for usage. We're not going to use it very soon, but I just want to uncover it and then um, do something uh, with it so it's uh, ready to use whenever I want to. Um, so that's also the second thing we're going to do. Let's put it all as a six and then we're going to build ladders over here. Um, Here's neutronium, which we cannot dig up, so we're going to make ladders to continue here. And then we're going to dig all of this up. Uh, dig as a six. And we do all of, uh, let's say this. Uh, this, of course, we cannot dig up. That's impossible. And then as a six, let's do the rest also as much as we can. And I think this also needs to be dug up but we cannot reach it yet. So we also want to make some ladders on this level. Uh, here is okay. Yeah. And once this is dug up, uh, we can have Max analyze it again, and then we can uh, start encapsulating it and insulate the tiles. Actually, I can already start that off as well. So let's do that. Uh, we want to have this, is this thing three or four high? I think it's four high. So let's go to here. We need a little bit of room on the side so we can uh, put in a pump. Actually, I'm gonna wait until I actually see what I'm doing. I want to uh, release this first. One more thing that I want to set up is this rock crusher. Um, we have a lot of eggshell, of course, because of our wrenching. Um, so I want to make a lime out of it. And lime is going to be very important once we uh, are going to build steel. Um, so it's good to have some lime. What we also can do is uh, change our fossil to lime. That will change 100 kilograms of fossil into lime but it will also generate sedimentary rock and that's exactly what we want at this time. So that's another thing that we want to set up. Here we are, chlorine vent uh, is opening up. We're going to anal analyze it as a nine. So Max is going to come up here and immediately do this. So as I already thought, this is four high. Um, so we want to create our roof here. And then I guess I can also build here. So I only have to go until here. Because we need room for a pump. And I guess we can do it like this. Let's actually cancel this one. I'm going to make it like this. Let's set up the pump already. Uh, gas pump. We're going to make this out of gold amalgam. Because this can handle a little bit more heat. Uh, let's put it here and we want to have an atmo sensor here uh, so we can automate this a little bit uh, out of lead is fine i guess uh, what is the 
Let's see. Does this have a overheat temperature? It doesn't look like it. Let's just make it out of copper. It's fine. And we connect this also. Then we also need power, of course. So let's make conductive wire uh, out of lead. Uh, build it down here. And then we also need to have a gas uh, pipe. Inside here is fine. It's gonna be hot anyway. And we're going to lead it to here. Actually, we're going to lead it one more down. And I actually also want to connect the power already because we need to empty this up before the gas pump uh, goes active. Why don't I see any... Oh, this is still being built. Uh, we're going to here. I guess this is fine. Let's build until here. And then gas... We're just gonna... Pump it out into the world here. And we also, yeah, once once this is all, the roof is built, I want to also sweep up all the stuff here. Actually, we can already start with that. It is dormant, luckily, uh, but the active period requires analysis. So we don't really know at this time. That's why Max is busy here. What is, oh, there's a Draculet egg here. Um, Draculet egg, let's just crack one. This is analyzed. Oh, we have 23.3 cycles left. So we have plenty of time actually to uh, clean this up. Uh, this chlorine vent is um, down for quite a while more. Looks like we have a printable. Let's see what we can get here. Uh, I'm not interested in extra duplicates at this time, but maybe we can get something else. Uh, thimble reed seed, eh, hatchling. Yeah, okay, let's make a hatchling. Liam earned a skill point. Nice. Um, so we're very close to mechatronics engineering. So that also means I actually want to set up some different thing here uh, for our food storage. Because you can see these refrigerators are almost full. Uh, and that's tricky because if you cannot put more food in here, then other food will just lie around and it will rot and that's not what we want. So what I'm going to do is deconstruct this door and we're going to construct something here actually. I'm also going to deconstruct these plants. Let's set this up already. Uh, it's actually not that difficult to set up uh, a nice place for food storage. But yeah, I'd like to do that right now already. Let's close this off. Um, let's see, how is the plumbing connected here? It looks like it's already connected, but for some reason... Oh, this is not connected, that's why. Ooh, we have to be careful here. Let's actually disconnect this. We don't want to lose all our water. Uh, and it's now going this way because there's nothing to go to here. So let's connect this. I also want to have this as a six. This is important and then we're going to deconstruct this one and this as well uh, because this is not going to be storage for polluted water anymore and then we're also going to build that just to make it look nice oh it's good that i noticed that because we were losing all our water and get it it's a little bit uh, bad if you don't have water anymore but we really have to be quick with this because this water will now prevent uh, at some point this toilet from flushing uh, yeah this is all built so what we can do now uh, no power oh yeah we uh, we disconnected the power uh, let's connect this we have power now and it's also enabled uh, what is this set to if below 1000 that's fine for now yeah, that's it let's set it to if above zero we want to make this a vacuum so everything that is in here is only chlorine uh, that should be fairly quick done. You can see we're at 1000 milligrams, 500. Unreachable dig. Oh, need to set this here as well. Deconstruct. We'll never be able to use these anyway. 
and then we have this contained. We now have a vacuum here. So nice. Uh, let's say if we are above uh, 2000 for now and this vent can go and that means we're ready. And whenever we need chlorine gas, we can now find it, uh, which is very nice because at some point we will need that. Uh, let's build some more ladders here. This is almost gone, so we can start actually digging up some stuff here. Uh, let's just uh, ravage the stuff. Uh, I want to do it like this for now. Actually, we can just go in here. Set up deodorizers here. We have sand in here, right? Yeah, we do. How many stone hatchling eggs do we have? We have actually one. Uh, what I'm going to do is remove this egg and add a stone hatchling egg in here. If you look at the hatch, hatchlings now, we have a 20% chance. This one is 15. Depends how much sedimentary rock it ate, of course. But yeah, we, we're increasing the chance now of getting these stone hatchlings, which is uh, a lot better. Actually, oh wow, whoa, 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 what, the, what has happened here? Food poisoning. Did someone not go to the toilet? Oh, did we remove a pipe? Oh, that's not good, that's not good. That's really bad. That means we have a lot of polluted oxygen now here, I think. Right? No? I want to clean this up very quickly. Whoops! That can happen if you're not careful. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, we need to put this uh, back. It's a good time to look here. Uh, looks like this is built uh, and this is removed. So now we can set up some plumbing here. A bottle emptier because I want to have a little bit of water. Uh, in order to facilitate that, we have a right hatch. Uh, yeah, hatch thing there. Let's get that guy out. I want to make a tile here because we're going to let loose some water, and I don't want it to spill. Uh, let's mop up this. Now we can deconstruct this, and then I will put it also here in this uh, bottle empty. And then we really can start building. I guess the liquid pump can be deconstructed. Also, the power can be removed, and also the liquid pipes can be removed. So now as well, we can deconstruct all of this. Dig up this one and make these ladders. We can remove these ladders. Then we can start destroying everything. Like that. Let's make some ladders under here. Build these. Let's get in here. There are some germs up here, which we don't want to let escape. Actually, let's also build the deodorizer, deodorizer there. Because there are some, some polluted oxygen here, which is off gassing, uh, which is spreading the disease. Okay. This is all nicely cleaned up. We have chlorine here. I guess that's perfect. Yeah, that works. Um, yeah. Let's build some more ladders. Yeah, they have plenty to do. Not enough manpower. They didn't even build these here. Oh yeah, here you can see. They, they tend to go through the upper door. So let's lock these. So they don't go all wonky. Okay. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, let's let's wait a little bit until they have done what we asked. Uh, actually, no, let's wait. Uh, let's get a letter through here. This is for now the top part that I'm going to dig into. Uh, let's do it like this. And then we're going to cancel out a couple, like three. Maybe this one instead, make it symmetrical. And then we're going to also build here as a six tiles and a de deodorizer. Then we're going to go down from there. Uh, let's see, we still don't have that much sedimentary rock, but we should get it pretty quickly now. We have built this. Yeah, okay, that's another thing that I want to do. Let's uh, open up this here. Let's do that actually as a seven, because I want to take an eye on that. Uh, I want to... Immediately sweep this up before it gets too much because we want to have some water. Just a little bit. This is 122 gram. This one here. So we set this to sweep only and water. Then we're going to drop this 102 grams of water. We're going to put it in here. By the way, that reminds me, I also need to set up some place to dump our water in here. But yeah, uh, let's do this at a 8. Because I want to keep an eye on this. And uh, sweep all of this up. Okay, there we go. A little bit of water in here. Okay, then we deconstruct this one. Okay, now you can see we have water here. A little bit, 32 grams. Oh yeah, we also can sweep up this here. So otherwise we're gonna make a mess again. And these we can set to stone hatches. Incubate. And this one I just want to remove continuous because we don't want to make any more uh, normal hatches. But yeah, we have another stone hatching act, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, so this is being built. I also want to build a couple more tiles. Let's make it out of granite, actually. This one, this one, and this one. Should all be buildable. Yeah. So now this is built. We have... 32 grams here, which is blocking this tile. And now if we deconstruct this, we will actually end up with a vacuum here, which is exactly what we want. We want to store our food in a vacuum because in a vacuum, things don't spoil. Uh, this here we can deconstruct already. Here we have a vacuum, perfect. And then at some point we're going to make a conveyor chute here. Uh, we can make that out of copper, that's fine. And then when the food is here, um, our duplicates can pick the food through the water and it will always stay good. So this thing here, for example, we cannot build because we don't have a mechatronics engineer. Liam is very close, he's halfway there. But yeah, at some point we will be able to ship our food to, um, here automatically so without having uh, us having to do anything for it uh, which is of course perfect um, I want to set up a place we can dump our water down and uh, do we make it here I guess we can make it here let's deconstruct this here and then I guess I can also go into here and get this water because more water is not a bad idea. We put in a pump right here. And we're gonna uh... just 
gonna go straight up here. And then power, we also need power. Like that. Let's of course set this up in priority, otherwise it never happens. Like that. And this one also. I want to see what's in here as well, actually. Um, so we're also going to go there. And dig up this. I think that should also reveal it if you come from here. Because here's the security door. But if you get close enough, I think this is also revealed. This is producing more water. Nice. We have so much polluted water now. At some point we're going to use that to create oxygen. Um, one more thing that I can build actually is we're gonna make use of this little room here. Uh, let's do like that, that, that. Uh, then we're going to use sandstone. We're going to make this. We're going to make a super small room. And what we're going to do here is add in some massage tables let's make them out of granite with a flower pot in the middle or yeah that should be okay let's pump this out and then we should be good to go well we cannot get there oh i guess we need to i guess we can we can deconstruct this one here we could have just built the room here actually i think i'm gonna just do that because i can yeah we're just gonna build out of igneous rock i'm gonna set it up like this then we're gonna deconstruct that one and this one and then they can uh, diagonally build this uh, and I'm gonna do the other two as well because I want to get be able to get through here that's why I also remove this here I just want to get be able to get through this already was a six okay this doesn't have to be an eye anymore I guess what we also can do is make two more ranches we're not immediately going to use them yet but we can already set them up the same setup as the other one. And what I also want to do is remove this here because we're soon going to do some smart stuff. We're going to do some automation stuff. So we need this space to build other things. I want this to be filled up. Oh, we have this also cleaned up. Uh, let's remove the debris. And then we set up a bottle emptier right here. And then we can put our clean water that we find. Uh, we can also dump in here. But we have to be careful because if we dump in water um, that has germs, it's going to be very tricky to get that out again. This one, stone hatchling incubate. And then this we set to sweep only so I can control it and water and then we're going to sweep all of this stuff uh, sweep so five is okay oh here we are we have another neural vexillator uh let's also rummage these these two deconstruct that Uh, snazzy suits should go in here. Yep. Okay, so they should pick that up. We can deconstruct those two now. Sweep up the steel. And then we're going to use this, I guess. Um, let me see. Who had what? Bert. I think most of our dupes had... Uh, the fact that they were very strong. Uh, where is it? Bio, beefsteak. Rowan also has beefsteak. I think Bubbles also went in one and also got beefsteak. 
Um, yeah, maybe we're gonna send Bert in one more and see what he can get. So here we go, Bert. And deconstruct this as a six. And this one also as a six. Because I want this stuff. Uh, Bird is in here. Let's see what he gets. Deep Diver's Lungs. Uh, this duplicate has a frankly impressive ability to hold the breath. Air consumption rate minus 50 grams per second. So this uh, Bird is now using less oxygen, which is pretty good. Uh, let me see, Bert. You can see inhaling minus 40, inhaling minus? Okay, that's, that's, it's, he's removing 46.7 grams per second of O2, and he's exhaling 1000 milligrams per second of CO2. Yeah, so the CO2 production is also halved. That's pretty good. Uh, we have this up here. We can actually also uh, start sweeping up this water because now we have a place for it to go. So how are we going to do this? Uh, let me see. Um, hot water. I think we need to exchange these pipes here. These are still in use. But I'm going to exchange these pipes here for insulated pipes. And go over here and in this direction. Just to make it ready. And at some point I'm going to connect this and then we're going to pump in the water here. It's not that much. It is a bit hot, but it will mix with the water that's in here. So it should be okay in the end. Uh, but yeah, I want to change exchange the rest of the pipes also by insulated pipes before we're going to do that uh let's actually already set up this pump because why not uh, we don't want to connect the pipes yet like that is fine and then power the same thing uh, we can go to here this direction and then we leave it like that or should we we can just connect it why not idle who's idle Rowan my boy Rowan what are you doing mister uh, can what what is here steel phosphorite coal iron ore chlorine we have Obsidian here. More obsidian. Why is there so much obsidian here? Do we only have obsidian? Okay, we got. I guess we're going to make one ladder out of obsidian. I uh, would have preferred that not to be the case, but yeah, Rowan has got himself stuck. Then come poop. A deconstruct and then we're going to build this here so they can get to the other side and this is getting very close to being empty and then we can deconstruct all of this again because I don't think we need the water line here I'm not expecting to be the water to be up there so this 82 grams yeah we can uh, start deconstructing stuff here all of that, all of that. Power lines. All of that can go. And then piping. All of that can go as well. Alright. And yeah, then we need to swap out these pipes. Igneous rock. Did I not change this? That's annoying. Uh, okay. I 
really hope the stuff falls on top here and not in here. That will be very, very annoying. But yeah, um, we already have an additional egg. Wait, we have uh, our copper. So we can build the last one here out of copper. Let's build it. Let's build it as a seven. And then we have the last stone hatching egg. And then we can start uh, cracking stone hatching eggs. Actually, I, I'm just gonna set it up right now. Or, no, we're gonna wait until it's built. It should be built fairly quickly. Okay, it's being built. What uh, priority are these? I think I'm gonna set all of these to seven. Because they need to be higher than the egg cracker. Seven and seven. And this one's also gonna be seven. And then we're going to be very, very close we have six more eggs? Wait, what? No, right? We don't have six eggs. That'd be insane. We have a lot of eggs. Wow. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> this is going to be stone hatching eggs. I'm going to also put that here. So we're going to make some more of that uh, omelets. Of that omelets. How many? We have five more in here and six more in here. Oh yeah, we have our uh, blueprint ready. Some algae. Let's take the algae. Um, looks like the plumbing is as good as done. We have one pipe here. How's the power? Power is connected. So I guess we can also start um, getting uh, this water into the base. So let's just do that. This is hot water. Um, but it's fine. Uh, we have so much water here now that it will just eat the heat. It might be a little bit warmer after, but it's not gonna be over 30 degrees. I think that is it for today. We're good on food for now. I think our fish also made a new cycle. So we have some uh, cooked fish as well. Uh, actually, a little, only a little bit left. Some fried mushroom, frost buns that we've been making because we had short access into here. Um, but yeah, we're in a good position, I think. Um, we're going to automate stuff next time. I think Liam, Liam, uh, Liam has his mechatronics engineering. Let's put, let's give him the good cap. Actually, Bubbles, I didn't give you a critter wrenching two cap. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be exciting. We're gonna do a lot of fancy stuff with this. Save a lot of room and a lot of duplicate work. So we're gonna be a lot more efficient next time. Uh, I'm gonna let this water come in. Um, yeah, this is a little bit hot because the water is coming out here. And this is gonna heat up the water a little bit, very locally. But we can actually counteract that again with uh, some ice, which we're gonna put in here. Because why not? Uh, as a seven. Let's make sure to do that. Uh, we also made a massage table here, so our duplicates, if they get stressed ever, which I don't see happening anytime soon. Uh, maybe if they go into space at some point, then they might. But uh, they can go here to uh, be relaxed again. Um, maybe at some point we also open up this farm again, but it looks like for now we don't really need it. We have so much muck root because we have been digging a lot. We cleaned up this area. There's almost no germs anymore which is fantastic so we can also uh, expand this here and dig out this stuff we can we can do a lot again um, whoops we can slowly destroy all of the map so um, that Having said that, we're ready uh, for the end of the episode. Uh, if you have any remarks on this video or any suggestions on what to do next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.